Hello, I'm James and I'm going to run you through how to get fine detail cutouts of things like hair using adjustments, channels and a bit of jambo magic. Uh, so first of all, I'm working in Photoshop CS 5.1, just in case there's any shortcuts or any of the panels look a bit different. And we're using one of the images from the photo shoot, which is of the model Daisy, one of the girls we used on the day. Um, to start with, whenever I start doing work on a Photoshop file that's going to have destructive elements in it, I always copy off the background, or the original even. So, Command-J, quite a good little shortcut, just name it master, um, either put it in a folder, colour it up, lock it and hide it. Uh, that way you've just got the original file, should you ever need to come back to it and get anything from it. So, what I've done here is... I've worked up a vector, vector mask of the image um, pretty much to the point where you'd start looking at the hair. The um, reason I'm using vector mask, you can keep it editable, you can move things around, pull points in and out. So yeah, I've trimmed it all out. Uh, now let's have a look at the hair. So pull the layer up. First things first, there's, a couple, there's always a couple of ways you can do this. Um, I'm going to run it through by using the channels. So, what you want to do is you want to look at the channels of the image. This is currently RGB, and it's best to keep it this way and then convert it later for print because you'll get better results for the cutout. Um, and what you want to do is using Command 3, 4, and 5, view each of the separate color channels. And what you're looking for is the greatest contrast between the background and the colour of the hair. I mean, part of this will come from your source file. Um, and this is another thing. What you always want to try and do is do as much of, get it as um, contrasty and make it e as easy for yourself in camera. So here we've been shooting a girl with dark hair on a white background. If it's a girl with fairer hair, um, you'll want it on a more sort of mid or darker background so that the contrast between the hair and the background is greater. So, look through the layers, uh, the red, green and blue. Like I said, command 3, 4, 5. And looking at those, I think the blue channel has got the greatest contrast between the hair and the background. So. What we're going to do is Command A, select the entire layer, Command C, copy it, go back to your layers, Command Alt Shift N, create a new layer, and then Command V to paste that information in from the blue channel. Just name that up. Um, with this, because we're going to be copying off quite a lot of layers, it's quite prudent just to keep things named, just to keep them in check. So once we've got this, what you want to start doing is basically we want to get as much contrast without losing information between the hair and the background. So you can use things like the levels, just compress the levels, give us great contrast. What you're always looking for is when it starts going a bit bitty and pixely because it will show up straight away on the image at the end. Um, I'm just going to work quite quickly with this for you guys. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I mean, you can use as many adjustments and kind of ways of forcing the contrast as you think is applicable. Um, although there are certain ways of doing this, there's no real hard and fast way um, and it's you've always got to kind of adapt the technique to the source file. So what I'll then do is just merge those two layers down. So we've now got this blue channel with kind of added contrast. What you want to do now, go back to the copied off original file put a mask on it, jump back to your blue channel, 
Command A, copy all the information. Uh, Alt click to work into the mask on that copied master and then command V to paste all that information and basically what that does is it will just create a mask for the image which currently is the wrong way around so if you just select the mask command I to invert and as you can see what we've got here is basically a cutout of Daisy from the image using the blue channel information which is now held within the layer mask. Another useful tip for when you're cutting out hair, um, always drop a layer into the very back into the very back of the file um, and fill it with either black or white. And just what this will do is as you're cutting out, you'll be able to see any ghosting around the outside of the hair where there's white pixels or dark pixels left that you want to get rid of. So next thing is to just pull this down with the vector mask, turn that back on and what we're going to see is where we want to be working on this uh, image. So if you just invert that you can instantly see all the ghosting around the outside and this is what we're going to work on getting rid of and kind of fine tuning up the selection. So if we jump into the layer mask on uh, the copied off master image, again what we want to do on this is um, basically narrow the levels so that all the black is black and all the white is white so that selections are really good. Again, you can do that with levels, you can desaturate it. It's kind of however the image dictates that you do it. Jump back to that, you can see what's going on. Yeah, jump back in there. Um, as for fine tuning up the selection on the edge, actually, one thing I'll do first is command click on the vector mask that you've got of the full figure and just command delete that selection whilst you're in the layer mask what that does is that will fill it with the background colour that you'll have selected here which by default should be white and that means when we come back to this you no longer need to have the vector mask on although again keep that layer just in case you need to come back to it and edit bits back in and out Right, working in the layer mask, there's a couple of different tools you can use here to kind of firm the selection up. Again, you can use curves to push the contrast levels. Um, one that's quite quick and maybe a little bit dirty is using a big soft brush set to overlay. Um, and what that'll do is it'll basically as you brush over it in either white or black, it, as you brush over it in white it will force pixels which are kind of a bit undecided to be black so if you look I'll just do that and you can see the selection instantly sort of creeps in on the hair um, it's a bit dirty though so kind of use it sparingly um, and I'd say use it with a little low opacity brush Oops. Another way to do it is using dodge and burn to where is it gone? There we go. shadows. You can dodge the white bits out and burn the black in. Um, as we've got a sort of white or lighter halo on this, I'd say it's probably more useful to burn the mid-tones of the mask so that's what we're working here, working the mask although I've got the layer on burn those back in let's work on this section here so I'm not doing the whole head
All the time I'm using quite a low exposure brush, soft brush, set to mid-tones. Again, kind of move this up and down. Shadows will attack the sort of, obviously the shadows, the darker pixels, mid-tones, mid-tones, highlights, highlights. Um, it's a bit trial and error with it all, really. Um, once you get it to a point that you felt you've brought the selections in enough, but also kept enough of the image information, go from the layer mask back into the image, and working, I'll just work on this small section that we've got around here, take, again, there's a couple of tools you can use, patch tool, lasso, with a feather, marquee with a feather, whichever, or pen to all and make selections, whichever you feel um, best suits your purpose. Because Daisy's got quite dark hair and these are going on light backgrounds, it's quite a forgiving image. So what we can do is use something like a lasso set with, I usually set it to one or two pixel feather, and where, if we just invert this, where we've got ghosting, and kind of nasty little artifacts around the edge, working on the main image, just take little selections next to where it's all gone a bit dirty, and just copy and pull them out. And what the feather will do is it'll just blend that quite nicely with the image that you've already got. Again, what I'd say is because they have got quite dark hair, this image is quite forgiving for this technique, whereas um, a model with lighter or kind of more mid-tone hair where there's greater contrast within it, you generally have to work a bit harder. In the first bits we did where you're using channels to increase the contrast against the background so that you can make the selections a lot better and a lot neater without having to do too much of this. So basically what you need to do is then obviously continue round all the edge, all the pieces that you want to get clipped out. It's quite time consuming so I won't go through it all. Um, and then one, the last point that I always do is go back into the layer mask and basically where you've got all this kind of fluff and pixels floating off that won't print and it's only going to cause you kind of pain trying to get them cut out. Just go in with a brush set about 85-90% so it's not completely harsh. Should you brush into anything that is going to be solid it won't take it out and just neaten it all up. Um, Again, this is a point which you've got to kind of use your own discretion with because it, it'll get to a point where you might be rubbing out too much stuff that is going to give it that really horrible cut out hair look. But getting nice fine detail in hair can be quite time consuming, but just rub all that out there. Um, it's totally worth it. There's nothing worse and more kind of giveaway and a bit of work than poorly cut out hair. Um, just go back into the image, press that.
doing here is just again using a combination of brushes. Overlay just forces the selection a bit more and will firm up the edges and then just a standard normal brush to get rid of any of the bits that I don't really like. So hopefully that should give you a good idea and some tips and tricks on how to get better hair cutouts. Oh, my God.